beautiful day. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. How are you doing? What's up, Zach? Nothing much. Enjoying my walk. How about you? Interesting. I went on a trip. I really enjoyed the beach day. Did you say bitch? Was she beautiful? You know, the bitch. I was swimming in it. Swimming. Oh, you mean the beach. Yeah. Sorry, I misunderstood. Mmm, I can see how that can be a very difficult challenge for Vietnamese speakers only have one short vowel in their language. So they tend to use it when wanting to express longer voweled words. Let me help you fix this problem. So let's practice the sound. It. Now this one is a short vowel. Look at my mouth. My tongue will be behind my teeth. I'm gonna open my mouth just a little bit and really focus to quickly push out a pocket of air. It. It. Some example words are hit, hit, or sit, sit. We're still using the same sound. It. Can you try with me? Let's practice. A word like miss, miss, kiss, kiss, hit, hit. All right, good job guys. So let's take a look at the longer version of the same sound. In this case, the E. Now, this one is similar, but a little different. We're going to do the same mouth movement, but in this case, we're going to keep smiling. We're going to reach for our mouth to go a little bit wider. So a word like sleep, sleep, or sheep, sheep. Can you try with me? Let's try some other examples like reach, reach, and beach, beach. All right, good job guys. In this case, I'm gonna say one word of each pairing and I'm gonna hide my mouth and I'm going to see if you guys can guess which word I just said. Let's begin. Miss. Was that short or long? That's right, it was a short voweled word. One last time. Reach. Short or long? It's not short. It was a long version word. Now, in this case, don't be shy to smile, to emphasize on longer vowels, and to just push it out quickly for the shorter ones. One more tip for you guys, and this one is special and very useful because you can use this tip at home. If you want to practice a new word or new sound, that you learned in the day, go home and take your mirror. Now, this is very good if you want to imitate the same pronunciation or articulation as the native speaker or teacher that helped you learn the word. So in this case, ship and sheep. So it helps me look at the differences between the sounds and again, imitate a native speaker. So let's try some sentences. First one. My big boss is cleaning the floor. Let's speed it up. My big boss is cleaning the floor. A little bit faster. My big boss is cleaning the floor. All right, good job. Let's try another one. I want to meet my sister. I want to meet my sister. 
I want to meet my sister. And last one. I really enjoyed the heat at the beach. I really enjoy the heat at the beach. I really enjoy the heat at the beach. So today we talked about both sounds. Short it sound like in hit and long e sound like in heat. Now, I hope that you remember how we make this sound, how to spell it, and also how to practice it. Don't forget to do your homework. See you next time. Now, both of these are very important. Yeah. <laughs>